The NVAC Greenhouse, a project by Lucas McCartney, a PhD candidate at McGill University, and Dr. Mark Lefstrad, an associate professor at McGill University. The project began in 2012 with the idea of combining an atypical greenhouse roof design with an unusual method of evaporative cooling. Here is a schematic of the NVAC greenhouse design. In section 1, we can see the typical behavior of warm rising air. In section 2, the misting line sprays a water mist at 150 psi into what we call the misting channel. This is the area created by the top roof and the added inside roof. In section 3, the cooled air collapses down the inside roof into the main area of the greenhouse. The air can then restart this cycle. The air at section 4 has the option of flowing out the top roof ridge if it is not involved in the evaporative cooling process. Many experts in the field of greenhouse design state that there is a need to find suitable greenhouse cooling methods for warm and humid climates. It is said that the most commonly used greenhouse cooling technologies are unsatisfactory for applications in tropical regions. There is therefore an emphasis put on the development of applicable cooling technologies. The leading advantages of natural ventilation systems can be found in the economics of a greenhouse operation. There is a reduction in expenses for ventilation and cooling equipment, a reduction in electrical operation and maintenance costs, and the mitigation of problems created by voltage drops and blackouts. To prove the concept, a prototype of the NVAC greenhouse was built at the McDonald campus of McGill University in saint anne de bellevue Quebec. The novel roof design and the misting system were tested to see if significant cooling and air movement occurred. Within the first summer, a noticeable drop in temperature of a few degrees was noticeable at plant height and increased air movement could be felt. Crop were grown in the greenhouse to prove that the system did not impede on crop growth. The project was brought to the island of Barbados in the Caribbean where the concept was tested for the first time in a truly hot climate. The climate of Barbados is a wet and dry tropical climate, meaning that there is a rainy season, but outside of rain events, the conditions are hot and dry. The 15 by 30 foot greenhouse was designed and built by Lucas McCartney, following the concept of the NVAC design. The misting system was installed in the rafters and rainwater harvesting provided water. The front, back and side walls were screened to allow wind to travel through the greenhouse, but keep pests out. The top ridge is also screened. From 2014 to 2016, the project was scaled up to a commercial size greenhouse on the island of Barbados. A conventional 45 by 105 foot natural ventilation greenhouse was modified to the NVAC greenhouse design. The added inside roof can be seen above the canopy of the crop. The misting system was rigorously tested to optimize its performance. Affordable, yet tough materials are ideal for use in the Caribbean, given the intense sun and lack of financial resources for upfront costs and maintenance. The ideal misting system design was a black UV resistant and full spectrum blocking vinyl waterline with stainless steel misting accessories. The added inside roof shows its practicality here by collecting unused mist water, preventing it from reaching the crop canopy and recirculating it for reuse. A system of pumps is required to draw water, pressurize it, filter it, and send it to the misting nozzles. At this point, an irrigation control system automates the misting system according to the user's preferences and according to the immediate weather conditions. To research the concept and fully understand the cooling of the air and the air movement, a prototype NVAC greenhouse was built within a research greenhouse at McDonald campus at McGill University. The controlled environment created by the research greenhouse allowed us to test the NVAC greenhouse in a variety of artificial climates. Tests quickly confirmed that air movement was enhanced while using the NVAC greenhouse system. In the first part of this clip, a smoke test shows typical convective air movement before the use of the NVAC misting system. Once the misting system is active, a current of air is created on the surface of the inside roof. Mm -hmm. 
soon after the air current is large enough to take up the entire misting channel. If the misting system is then shut off, the air slowly returns to its convective nature. When observed from below, the smoke test shows the current of air exiting the misting channel towards the main area of the greenhouse at a noticeably high velocity. When observed on the ground of the greenhouse, convective air movement is still dominant before the misting system is activated. The current of air is noticeable when the NVAC system is turned on. This clip shows a smoke test involving multiple colors of smoke. This gives us insight into the way the various air currents travel in the greenhouse when the NVAC system is active. The beginning of this clip shows typical convective air movement before the NVAC system is active. Once again, when the misting system is activated, the current of air can be seen in the sudden change in direction of the smoke. Without the NVAC system, this heat-stressed plant shows no leaf movement. A lack of air movement in a greenhouse can be detrimental to greenhouse crop in many ways. With an active NVAC system, the plant can now be seen with moving leaves, showing that there is air movement. During every stage of development of the NVAC greenhouse design, relative humidity and temperature data were collected. The NVAC greenhouse design behaves in slightly different ways depending on the climate and immediate weather conditions. This graph shows the cooling potential of the NVAC greenhouse design in hot and dry conditions. The NVAC greenhouse design is considered to be most effective in such conditions. A drop in temperature is seen at 1130 in the graph. A simultaneous increase in relative humidity is also seen. This coincides with the beginning of misting. The opposite is noticeable when the misting is stopped at 5 o'clock. As in any evaporative cooling technique, the increase in relative humidity is the price to pay for cooling of the air. The leading advantages of the NVAC greenhouse design are that the added roof prevents any water droplets from reaching the plant canopy, and that no fans are required to provide evaporative cooling and air movement.